welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Alyssa, and for today's video, we are gonna be doing my Sephora VIB sale haul. I am so excited to share with you guys what I got as always, so I really hope that you guys are excited as well. And if you would like to see what I picked up, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, so jumping right on in to the haul, I am gonna start off with like my samples and my point perks first, just to share them with you guys, so I am gonna kind of speed through these because I don't think they're that important, but I just want to tell you about it. So first things first, I got this super potent serum from Dior. I love getting anything in samples or point perks where it's an expensive brand because hello, it's expensive so you can try it before you even have to mess with it. Next, I got this Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Serum with Green Tea Seed. Innisfree is a great skincare brand, so I was excited to see that. I then got this Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Shampoo and Conditioner Set. I love getting these as like samples and things like that because these are great for travel because then you just use it and throw it away wherever you are. And then last but not least for samples, I got this Beauty Blender. It's a sample foam. I don't even, I don't know what this is. I don't recall picking it, but obviously I did. But literally, it looks... <laughs> Like they took really tiny beauty blenders and like sliced them into little sections for you to try, which is so weird. Unless they have new flat beauty blenders that I did not know about, but either way, I have this. I will do something with it. And then for point perks, I got this Sephora Gloss Lip Gloss in the shade Confident. I got this Bite Beauty Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer. And then also I got this Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream again, girl. Get those expensive brands in the points. Like, why spend your money? So then in one of my purchases, I also got this like sample bag of stuff because I did make three separate purchases. And in that bag was this Amica Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. This Lancome, it's like a lash primer thing. A lot of people talk about this and I don't use lash primers, but I am excited to see what this is about. This First Aid Beauty, um, like, mask or something i'm excited to see about that the urban decay lash freak mascara which i also have not tried this uh sunday riley ceo glow vitamin c and turmeric face oil that's expensive i'm excited to try that this kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado i love any sort of eye cream girl i'm excited about that and then last but not least they had this replica the coffee break perfume thing which in watching all of the like Sephora VIB sale recommendations and even some hauls, this is a really popular item and I have just now learned about it this year. And so I'm very excited that this was included because I want to know what's up with this and this is very expensive. So I am excited to see that. But those are all like the samples, the bags, the little other things that I got. So we're gonna jump into the things that I actually pay for now. So first things first, your girl tried a little bit of Rare Beauty. Now I have actually already tried all the Rare Beauty items that I have. You will see a video on that coming very, very soon. So keep your eyes out if you want to know my thoughts and opinions on that. I'm not gonna share a bunch in this video because obviously I want you to watch that one, but do know that I did not like everything and some things will be being return girl. But I went ahead and got the uh, Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. I also got the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. And then I did these little mini sets because I thought these would be such a great way to test out stuff without having to buy full size in every stinking product. So this one is the Best of Rare Beauty set and it is this lip and cheek set. So it came with two blushes, one matte, one dewy. It came with one of the like liquid lipsticks and one of the balms. So this was a really, really great set in my opinion to be able to try everything. And then I also got the Best of Rare Beauty, um, the two other like liquid lips. So this one, they are all three different colors. So I know they look similar, but this is a, uh, a different color from the two that come in here. So I thought that was a great way to get to try out some of the shade range in her lip products. So you already know your girl had to get a backup of the Ula Henriksen Glow to O Dark Spot Toner. I am literally a walking, talking advertisement for this product. They have this like jumbo size, so it is uh, 10 fluid ounces and it was like 34 bucks. And so I was like, yep, add to cart. I always get one of those. 
almost always get one of those when there is a sale because I just like to consistently have backups in my collection so that way I can use it, so that's great. I also then got this Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. I am so excited to try this, you guys, because the moisturizer that I used to use, like my Holy Grail moisturizer I've been using for literally all of my life, has now been discontinued. Okay, y'all, so the next thing that I got were some lashes. You guys know I love my lashes, girl. I ended up getting three different pairs. They are all from Lily Lashes because... I love Lily Lashes, but they were all like $15 each, and then obviously with 20% off, that is absolutely amazing. So the first pair I got was this Yas Queen set, and I've never seen these before. I think these must have been like some sort of like special collection or anything like that, but this is what the packaging looks like, and then when you open it up, these are what the lashes look like. Oh my god, that is actually my first time getting to see them. Ooh, those look really pretty. It's also really funny because on the back it says, hold on to your wigs. Lashes this wispy will take you from work to work. I am so excited. These look stunning. Oh my gosh. I am so excited to try those out. And for $15 for Lily Lashes, girl, please, I could not say no. And then I also got this pair right here. These are light minks. So I got two pairs of light minks because I wanted to try them out. I have the original Minx in Miami and Mykonos. You guys know I love those, so I decided to try their light version. This first set is called Royalty, and I'm not going to lie to you, when I first saw them, I was like, um, they really kind of give me like Ardell lash vibes. Like I really don't know if these are worth $15. And so to be honest with you, I don't know if I'm going to keep them. I think I will probably just to say I tried them and like give my opinion on if I think these are worth 15 bucks or can you find drugstore lashes that are better. But I don't know. Online, they definitely looked a little bit more fluffy. Like I know they're light, but still. And then I had to get some Miami lights because you guys know I love Miamis and I have never tried them in a light version. I figured now was a good chance, especially, you know, being $15. So these look beautiful. I already know I'm probably going to jam with them. Okay, so moving on next, we're going to talk about Fenty Beauty. If you are not new here, you know I am a Fenty Beauty hoe. Um, there are very few products in the Fenty Beauty line that I do not enjoy. So I was very excited to pick up a few things. First things first, y'all should have seen this coming. I had to get the Glossy Posse Hollow Days Edition. This is what it looks like. Um, I love her glosses. They are absolutely amazing. Even if you're someone that doesn't think you really love lip glosses, you gonna love Rihanna's lip glosses. Like, that's just a fact. I already know it. I do love her glosses. I love the colors, and I think this is a, like, super exclusive shade. And, man, I like her glosses so much that I was like, exclusive? check but to be honest i will let you guys know up front that this was actually something that my parents are going to be gifting me for christmas so i can't even open it right now like i was able to get it tell you guys that i do have it but like i have to give it to them <laughs> to give to me for christmas but that's okay because mama didn't raise no fool and if someone's gonna offer to buy me something as a gift i can wait i can wait i can save that 30 dollars. it ain't hard for me girl okay guys so the next Fenty set that I picked up was this one right here and I did use two of the products out of it today so I could kind of test it out because I was so curious and then I'm going to be able to share my thoughts with you guys. So this is the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Trio and what that is is her full size original gloss balm in Fenty Glow along with a uh, cream blush and the diamond balm all over diamond veil in the same corresponding shade of Fenty Glow. And so when I was in the store, I was talking about how, you know, like I love Fenty. I obviously was picking up some Fenty products and he was like, the young man working was like, have you seen this? Like, do you know about this? Do you love her glosses? And I was like, of course I love her glosses. Obviously I was buying the trio thing. And he was like, well, if you love the original gloss bomb and Fenty Glow, he was like the two products in there, the cream blush and the highlighter thing are totally limited edition. You can't get them anywhere else. And so if you want to try them, you have to buy the set. And I was like, oh, you know what? You're cute. You're sweet. I will, I will pick it up. I will give it a shot. And so this is what the blush and the highlighter look like from that set. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I opened it up, I was like, oh my God, there is no way that that's going to work for me. Those look too dark for my skin tone. I did swatch them for you guys so you could see it. So this is the blush and this is the Diamond Veil product. And so this is the first Diamond Bomb Powder I have ever tried. 
I have it on my cheeks today and I also put it on my decollete because I just wanted to see it on my body. Um, on my face, if I'm being honest, because it is very, very glittery, I don't know that I like it. And honestly, I think it's, it may be like touching a smidge too dark for me. I don't think it's leaving like a crazy dark cast, but maybe I'm just letting my eyes play me. So I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. On the body, it's no problem because it literally is just like glitter. Um, as far as the blush goes, I am wearing it now. I don't think it looks bad, but girl, it also has glitter in it. Like <laughs> It has tiny little shimmers in it, and I didn't notice them at first until like I brought my mirror up close to kind of look at what I was doing. And to be honest with you guys, I do not know how I feel about that. So I cannot honestly tell you if I'm going to keep this set or not because I don't know if I like it enough to do that. Um, let me know what you guys think of how my skin looks. I will say that if you don't mind like the glitter type of aspect in the cream blush, like it's not crazy, but there are glitter flecks in it, then you might like it. And I think the color is really nice. Like I said, I was super surprised that it worked on my skin, but I think especially if you were going to do kind of like a no makeup makeup look and you can wear cream products without having to set them. Um, it's a really, really pretty shade. I do like that. And I like the shade of the of the Diamond Balm on my skin, but I just don't know how I feel about it. I'm gonna like test it out, see how it looks under direct sunlight, cause that's really going to kind of make or break it for me. But I was pretty pleased with the shade. I was glad that it did work. I definitely think if you were a little bit more fair than me, it would look even better, cause it's gonna give you more of like a warmer kind of terracotta -y type of color if you are much darker than me girl this is not going to work for you and i am so sorry because i don't know that's the only thing that confuses me and maybe it does but in my opinion the way that my skin looks right now i don't know how it would show up on a skin tone deeper than mine which to me is kind of bummy if that is the case because this is the original lip gloss that was created to look absolutely fantastic on every single skin tone. And I don't know why you would create products that don't also replicate that fact, but I could be wrong. If I am wrong, definitely clock me, definitely let me know, and I will look into it. But if it doesn't look good on everybody, if it doesn't show up on everybody's skin tone, I'm kind of just like, mm, I think you may have missed the mark a little bit there. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on that product, especially like how you think my face looks, or if you've tried it out like what's your opinion on that because I'm just a little on the fence about it like I don't hate it but I don't love it and you know to me I'm either like on board with Fenty products or there's the ones that I'm like nah girl that is not it sis so anyways moving right on along two more Fenty products I do want to talk to you guys about so I did get the Fenty Beauty Matte Mazelle Plush Matte Lipstick this is in the shade single I do have the one in Freckle Fiesta I love it. It is a shade that I'm actually wearing on my lips today. Now, I did line them with a darker lip liner, and it is the Ulta Beauty one in Spice because when I put it on my mouth, it was just a little too light for what I had going on. Um, and then I topped it with some gloss, which is funny. I don't know why I just didn't use my uh, Fenty Glow Gloss, but I actually just used a, what is this? Is this a Revlon, a Rimmel London Gloss? But it's actually really similar to it, so... I'm not, I'm not judging, like, if you don't want to buy a Fenty Beauty Gloss, like, these are pretty similar. But that's neither here nor there. So I did get this. I do like these lipsticks. I do like the color. This is a color that I've actually had in my cart for a while, and these were on sale. So they're normally $18. This was, like, $12.50, and then I got it more on sale, so your girl was excited to get that. And then last but not least, I got this um, Pouncicle. And so for the longest time, I was like, nah, those are not going to be it for me. But first of all, this packaging, though, can you guys see that? Look how cute that is. I'm all about it. Like, it's so pretty. And so this is called the Juicy Satin Lipstick in the shade Hot Blooded. Let's just take it out and swatch it because, like, why not? We can. We're here because I want to see if I like it. I cannot stand, y'all, when I cannot get into a product. I'm like, I'm like, I don't even have nails on or nothing. Like, what is, what's the excuse? So, ooh, I like the packaging. That's fun. I love her lipsticks for the simple fact that they have like the Fenty Beauty logo embossed in there. It goes away literally almost immediately, but it is such a fun little thing. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, oh, what? Oh, girl, what? 
I smell nothing. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I didn't think it would be this pigmented. Like when you say something like lip stain or like whatever, and especially in the shades that she has, cause it, I think one's like blue and purple. I may be mistaken, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. And so I really thought this was gonna be like super sheer and like no pigment. But no, like look at her, like she is pigmented. Okay, so I'm excited about that. I love products like that, especially during the summertime and popping on one of her glosses over top. So stinking pretty. So I'm actually very excited that I have this. I definitely think this is worth checking out. And I'm pretty sure this was on sale for like $7. And then I got 20% off of it. So don't sleep on that, sis, if you like really bold colors. I don't know that I would wear any of the other ones, but if you're okay with like a pink lip, this is really cute. Even if you get it after the sale, because I think by the time you're seeing this video, the sale is over, but $7, you guys, that's a lot of pigment for $7, okay? I'm just saying. So now, last but not least, I picked up a few items to put in giveaways for you guys because I figured why not, I love you guys, and why wouldn't I save myself some money when buying stuff for you, you know? I wasn't born yesterday. So for you guys, I also picked up the uh, little Rare Beauty lip products, and this did not mean, I don't want you to try and get cute, that I did or did not like these, but I thought this was a good way for people to get to try them, so, and I didn't want to break them up. Whoever gets these, I wanted you guys to get like both of these, so I got two of these to put in giveaways for you guys. I got the Laneige Glowy Lip Wonders, the two pieces. I love these lip glosses, you guys. These are some of my favorite lip products. It comes with the original berry flavor, and I think this is like their new gummy bear flavor, so I wanted to get that to put in giveaways for you guys. I also got this Sephora Face Mask Magic Set. I love Sephora face masks. I think they are so good. And especially for the price, like you cannot be mad at the price. So I got some of these to be able to put in giveaways. And then last but not least, I also got this Tarte. Does it have, it's a Tartlet gift and give set. So it's got three different Tarte eyeshadows in here. And it's got the little bloom up here, the little toasted and the little juicy. Whoa. A name I didn't even look um, I know Tarte eyeshadows are really really nice I know this one in the middle here is very popular and at first I was like oh my give all of these away and then I'm out here looking on the back because it gives you like the color story of the palette and I'm like am I end up gonna keep that little warm eyeshadow palette I don't need it but it looks cute so I want to get some palettes to be able to kind of put in giveaways and give to you guys and this was a really great deal this was $50 this was a $270 value girl I was not sleeping on that I had to get it anyways you guys that is everything that I picked up during this Sephora VIB sale I am super excited that I have got some new goodies to try out and that I was able to get you guys some stuff because you guys know I love you so definitely do keep your eyes peeled for my rare beauty video that should be up later in the week especially if you want to know my thoughts and opinions as someone who has oily skin and definitely do not forget to let me know what you think of the Fenty Beauty uh, glow products that are on my face because I'm still very on the fence of them but yeah you guys I really hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did you know the drill please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday and if you hit that notification bell then you will never miss an upload from me and last but not least you can also come follow you girl on Instagram at Alyssa and Pope and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!